Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Sound here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime! And, uh, I was just gonna run back into this room out here real quick and see if I couldn't get go ahead and get the upgrade that you get with the Ice Beam here. For some reason, something's telling me maybe I can't do this, but I'm gonna go ahead and find out if I can. Ooh, yeah, it looks like I can. Whoa! Huh, not so fast, say the Chozo ghosts, right? Alright, alright, let's get on. Alright, so we're starting this episode with some fighting. Some good old fashioned fighting. Oh, yeah. Actually, I might have to annex the beginning of this onto the end of the next episode or something. You know, just screw you guys. Seriously? Wow. Well, I don't have enough time to charge a super missile before he runs out of the way. Jeez, would you quit making me put my hand in front of my face? Okay, just dodge right before the. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got you. I got you this time, you bastard. Yeah, instead of just making no attempt... Yeah, maybe these are the guys where you need to keep moving, and I was in here giving that advice. But anyway... Oh, hello! Alright, that's it. I'm charging my super missile now. I'm a fire in my laser! Ho ho ho! Yeah, you don't like that, do you? You never did. Okay, Virgil, you wiener! You never could stand up to a fight! Oh, that's uh, from the abyss. That's not applicable to either of the two conflicting forces in this situation. You're just gonna swipe away, aren't you? Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I hate wasting my missiles on tripe like you. Hey, what are you doing? Appearing up there? You're crazy, man. Where are you? Where are you? You're just gonna disappear. So I'm just gonna wait. Gotcha. Oh, maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. Well, you think appearing way back there is gonna do you any good? No, because now you're dead. See? You don't live, you know, as long as I'm around, you'll always be second best. See? Wait, I want that energy. Not that energy pellet. That was a whole energy tank's worth. I'm not gonna pass that up. Now, we just have to get back up to where we were here. And go ahead and do the second one. Might as well. So you shoot the ice beam and uh, shoot the ice beam morph ball slot, whatever, it is, whatever that's called. And this will open up our second secret area in this room. The third beam we won't be seeing for a while. So how's that going to get through the floor? Oh, it's not. Okay, whatever. A new path has been opened. Seriously? I didn't notice that. Well, I'm glad you're here to tell me these things. Should we take the professor into the back and plug him into the hyperdrive? Now the Chozo King gets to go bowling again. Boom! Such an inim inimitable, inimitable sound. Alright, there is something down here. Yes! There's an energy tank! Woo-ha! Might as well get it. Is there anything else in here? Nothing much. Okay. Well then, let's not waste time. Let's go! You're wasting time! Can you name that movie? You're crazy if you can name that movie. That's ridiculous, man. That could be like any movie. But, uh, yeah. What, it, what I was thinking of was Karate Kid 2 before Daniel breaks the ice and he's sitting there breathing and one, you can hear a guy in the background like, Go! You're wasting time! Or something. So, back into the, uh, stupid room. Now, the only problem I have, well, there's a number of problems I had with doing this. Number one is it's kind of out of the way and you're just going to end up back in that room anyway. But I figured it was close enough to where I was at the moment that I might as well go ahead and do it now. It's just the number of problems exist with that being number one. Like I said, it's out of the way. And number two, that we have to do this again. So, But, eh, how bad is it? Oh, I'm not... Uh, I was going to try to get you to eat me. But you didn't want to eat me. Uh, Oh, man, I got up there without the Stone Toad's help. I don't think that's ever happened. Now, as I said before, we were in the save room, and I was going to go in this little tunnel back here. Now we can finally do that. Wee, 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 wee. It's cruising on through. Cruising for a bruising. We might just be. Well, what do we have here? Where is this going to take us? Talon Overworld East. Are you sure that's what we want to do? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Pretty much at this point, no matter where you go, there's probably something to do. 
So I want to get back to Fendrana Drifts pretty soon here, but we'll go ahead and see what's happening here. And maybe pick up a few upgrades on the way. Maybe not. I don't know. We'll have to see as we go along. Because the answers we find may never... Whoop. Mm, what was that? Oh, wait. Now, see, I think they designed this so that when you came out here with your ice beam, you'd be, it would be extremely useful right after picking it up, because that's how they always do it in games. They try to make stuff look more useful than it is by putting a bunch of stuff that's vulnerable to it just after the place where you pick it up. So when you get under here, we actually got a missile expansion, so yeah. Yep. And out here is another ice door. I don't know what those, uh, those are. Well, uh, realistic raindrops on my windshield. And uh, check this out. The ice we the ice beam is extremely useful against these guys because it pretty much one hit freezes them and you don't even have to charge it. The only problem is the ice beam is so slow and these guys move around really fast so it's really hard to hit them. And this is pretty much kindergarten logic that I'm using here. So I'm just gonna get away from uh man, you're hitting me even when I'm underwater, that's no fair. Ta, yeah, that's right. Any more you want to take a gander? Yeah, that's what I thought. No problem. Now there should be actually, uh, let me see. Yeah, if you take a look at this right here. This crate appears to be the same type of container found on the Space Pirate Research Frigate. The material seeping out from the ruptured metal is highly toxic. Analysis indicates that this may be the Phazon compound the Space Pirates were using in their biological experiments. Is it? Well, let's find out. Oh, holy crap, yeah, it is. I think it is. That stuff hurts like nothing else in the game, pretty much. You do not want to mess with that stuff. You don't want to get anywhere near it. Quite frankly, it's more dangerous than any of the poison we've experienced thus far. We're seeing like the great, like the, like what we thought was the great poison before. In the toxic swamp and all, with the trees and the, all that. Well, that was nothing. That was nothing compared to this. And you know, look at this, we end up right back out here again. How crazy is that? What the hell am I going to do out here? I have no idea. Well, I could go save in the ship, I guess. Might as win. This way we get our energy stocked, ref uh, missiles restocked. And I don't know if we have enough artifacts to unlock the next clues in the impact crater. I really don't think we do, because we only have two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head straight back to... Uh, I need to get back to Fendrana Drifts, and I, quite frankly, the trip there is probably going to take about five minutes, which, you know, the logical thing to do would be for me to say, okay, let's cut, and I'll see you at Fendrana Drifts. But for some reason, when playing this game, I just don't want to do that. I don't know. It feels more authentic if I just don't cut anything. And besides, this game is fairly short. Even if I don't cut anything, I'm pretty sure I can still get it in... Uh... Oh, that, that's a tough call. I want to say 65, maybe 70, but it might take longer than that. I don't know. So I don't see why it would take any more than 75, though. I mean, I'm pretty... I'm, I'm guessing about 70 if I don't cut anything. But, you know, like, in between videos, I might say, okay, I'll meet you back here, wherever, or something, but I don't know if this is going to be, like, the end of a video or the beginning of another one, or... I mean, who even knows? And more, fr more, more, to, the, more to the point, who cares? Oh, wait, you know what? And see, this is why I don't want to cut, because you'll be picking up upgrades on the way there, and I don't want to be, like, forget to do that if there's, like, I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's try that again. Wait for him to charge. There we go. <laughs> One shot of the ice beam just blows his, moment, his ass away. Now, there is actually, uh, up here in the tree, there is, I think you can scan it. I'm, well, I'm not even sure what I'm looking at there. There's like a knot in the tree that's susceptible to a super missile. Yeah, I think I saw a target. Anyway, is it right there? Yeah, that was it. Something just blew up. Anyway, there's a missile expansion up there, which I think we're going to have to go around the long way to get. But, you know what? Long way was never an issue for me, obviously. I'm just talking about taking the long way and not cutting it out. So what the hey. But yeah, since you're picking up upgrades on the way, I want to make sure that I'm as clear as possible as... To showing exactly where those upgrades are instead of just saying, okay, hey, remember this place? Yeah, well, we're gonna do this now. Yeah, so here we go. 
Dun 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 dun. That was easy enough. Oh, couldn't quite get back up there. There's actually a quicker way to get up here once you have the double jump. You don't have to go all the way around the back. You just go over here and uh, just get up this way. So, that's a little easier. I feel like I'm forgetting something else, though. Well, actually, yeah, we might see that on the way. Pretty sure the fountain is up ahead, isn't it? Or did I get that one already? Uh, well, I guess, yeah, the fountain's right here. And, uh... Wait, let's, did I get it? Yeah, I did get that one. What the heck? Okay, alright. Well, okay. This is the way to Magmore Caverns, is it not? Because I don't feel really stupid if it's not. Well, there's two elevators to Magmore Caverns, and whichever one I end up taking is gonna be the one. 